Did you ever wonder why some grapes are seedless? Let's make sense of it with science. A long time ago, all grapes had seeds, and for a very good reason. You see, when the grapes would drop on the ground, or when birds or animals would carry them away, the seeds inside the grapes would be spread across the fields where covered by dust and dirt and watered by the rain, they would eventually sprout roots and form a new grapevine. But somewhere along the way, centuries and centuries ago, a mutant grapevine formed. Like other grapevines, this mutation would flower. The flowers would be pollinated. And soon the beginnings of tiny seeds within the grape would start to take shape. Then, for no apparent reason, those seeds would stop developing. In a few months, the mutant grapevine would bear sweet, juicy grapes, but without the seeds that would allow it to reproduce. The seedless grapes were easier to eat, so they quickly became popular. But without seeds, these grapes were going to have a tough time creating new plants. So farmers, thinking ahead, took cuttings from the vine, nurtured them, and helped the cutting grow into a new seedless grapevine. Thousands of years later, farmers are continuing that practice. And that's why today, we can find seedless grapes on special in aisle two. Hope you picked up some valuable information today. It all makes sense with science. This has been presented by Bayer Corporation's National Education Program, Making Science Make Sense.